Hello, welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic. Today is the first video with the third party software. Um, I'm going to show you today a software from a Swiss company called Decodio and what they can do together with our USB spectrum analyzers. So in this case, it's all thanks to us a little bit and thanks to their hard work getting us something new and extraordinary. So in this case, you can see I'm using an RSA 36 a version I mean it's an older version the first version has some spurs and um, I just continue this and, and show you a brief five minute overview of what this can do so one of the things that you have to think about is if you ever played with the uh, signal view PC which is the free software that comes with us we can only handle about one uh, channel at the time one demodulator running at the time uh, we have customers who want to have multiple demodulators. So let's start this one and just press play. We have something up here. I can get uh, something like this. And let's start about radios of like 101 megahertz. So, so here are some radio channels active right now. We can also move this refresh ratio up a little bit so it's a little bit more lively feeling. And when I'm in this one, I can select and then I can just double click here. Here I create a recording and this is stream ID 1, FMV, I can have the tracking on so it goes right and then we have an oscilloscope view which I can pause and this one I can just listen to. So this is probably what we can do, the difference is our audio demodulation is based on the center frequency but the good thing with this one I can just double click and the first setting is gone to the next one, so it's also tracking. I can listen to this one. And I go to the third one. And now I have three active. So now I have three active demodulators. Why would you need that? So ABC. So if I trick on that one, this one is set to 200 kilohertz wide FM band. And then I can select the output. I can record the IQ data. It's needed. I can stream the IQ data to a TCP port. I can record the demod. Or I can use the sound card and then you have the standard tracking you know that you can have a track frequency cracking but you can also have a squelch and squelch is really good for signals that is mostly on and off communication but the thing that is uh, I think is cool it's only me is that you can listen to multiple radio channels at the same time I'm not sure what the real aspect of that was but we can do that uh, the guys in uh, in Decodio, uh, they are good in decoders. So this is analog, and they call it recording. But they also have support for digital communication protocol. So in there's there's a list, and we can see Tetra, DPMR, NXDN, DMR, Tetra Pool, and P25. As I'm living in Sweden, uh, I'm going to focus this very short about Tetra. This is what we're using. So I press Tetra here, Tetra. And here's a tab. You have uh, carriers. I normally blank this out so we can see the carriers. Then we have the find, the sound, and the filter. So let's try to find some Tetra. I think it's around 390. Here we have something. And I can just scroll in here. So there's two ways of adding. You can either double click and you can ask this one to just find it. And after a while, I think it found most of it. I stopped this one. Now I have this the stream IDs here and I have the power sorted and I can double click on this one to get information about this specific channel and for people who knows everything about this they know exactly what I am I have no idea what all this data means the second thing you can, go, you can right click and you can show a log this is word log and then you can right click and extract a report and the difference between log and report is that this will actually look at the changes. So the log will only measuring the diff, any changes will automatically log. So bit rate one to bit rate zero, bit rate one, zero, two, and the power and the quality changes. So this is the first thing I think interesting with Tetra. Not only do you measure the power, but you can also measure the quality.
and sometimes quality and channel power are not related and people working with tetra know a, a bad repeater will send bad stuff and if i look at one of these i can click one of these and it will show me live the time domain overview for the stream so it's getting worse oh, this was good that this was probably the strongest one so we do like this it was really nice and it's getting worse and worse and worse of course so this is the first thing you can do the second tab here is the active calls unfortunately there's no active calls now but let's see if there's coming in the third tab is actually calls so you can actually uh, track them you can record them if they're encrypted there's ways if you have the authority to use the encryption or the encryptor to add that in the file and you have to talk to decode you how you do that i don't have it so it's no problem here we can see there was one call and if we can listen to this one uh, doesn't say too much to me but we can say that there's a call can remove this one it, last one is a network so you can have this mcc 240 la and there's the different sub channels around this one if you're interested and you can have active and detective so that's basically it the other thing if you want to add something around this to figure out what it is like this one i just double click this one and there's another to call and maybe this one will be you know accepted or not and it seems that it's active yeah and you can see the number of calls this is basically what it does which is amazing and you can have unlimited number of streams active so you can ask them to generate sound file as well and you just press this one so going back and forth we have this set up here we have the and i right click here i can tune the device over to my fm radio if i like and i can always go back and tune device over here so this was a very brief overview of the capabilities here now i will go into the next phase of this one i just one minute over so they also have a kind of a server which then can send this out on web so this i'm just looking at my local host now but here i can go to a network activity for example if i press here there's analog it's not running it's false but i know that the tetra one should be and we have you know active and if i look at this one i can have the calls coming up here live and most of the problems we're looking at is looking at a good power versus a quality which is not good and you can use them to look at the quality for example if you look at the quality that is lower you can look at them here or you can sort them any way you want the other one is a call list and this is the list I had, you know, before I can load the calls again. And we can see if there's anyone with the file. You can see that there's a file here. And if I have a file here, I can replay it. I mean, it doesn't tell me that much because it's decoded. But this is the information you can get out to making sure that your network is really up and running. The third one here is hard for me to do in my office as a drive test, but it's essentially the same thing. It will tell you, you know, we can load streams and we can say active here. A little bit easier. So we can have active streams and the active streams will then, if there is a GPS, be plotted versus you are. Or you can plot them on the map here by using a KML file, which you can have, you know, when you store your position. And the last thing I want to show you, the power monitoring. I think this is a good thing. So you can look at things that you've done in the past, things that is active. So you click in here, you can have today, a last day, a month, what, for whatever you want. And then I normally look at running. Yes. And you can see that's been ongoing for like two minutes. And I just click one of those and it will load me. I will out the scale. It will load me the red one is quality versus power so you can see here we had a little power drop but the power didn't go down so this is one thing you can look at we can look at the strong signal here which is this one minus 77 
and that will be you know 100% quality uh, depending on the power level of course you have to think about this I live in the country I just uh, had an uh, USB extender bought a uh, 5 meter USB 3 extender for like $30 and uh, I put uh, put it outside the box but this is basically what I wanted to show you there's some tricks here uh, making sure that you can switch between frequencies this is a bit hidden in the menu I uh, have customer asking for that and that means that you can have the the, the uh, system switching so let's see, see 100 uh, to 390 to 420 to 600 and the switching time could be one second and an activate and just submit this one so now it's going to go through all the frequencies I just put some randomly and if you look at this one here, it goes to 100, 390, 420, 500, 100, 390, 420, 500. If you for some reason would like to look at multiple frequency. Thank you. And before I go, I will say again, this is a fantastic piece of software. I hope you enjoyed this video. Find out more at Bicom's website.